Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. Well, we're in a 21st century setting, Southampton St Mary's Stadium, and Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, to describe the action for you here. Southampton in action today against Crystal Palace. Well, this is where you want to come to see goals. The performance of the players from the home side this season, when they've been playing here at home, they're unstoppable. They are the entertainers in this division. They've been really good, really potent in front of goal. Here's the Southampton team for you. Fraser Forster starts in goal. Oriol Romeo plays with Jordi Classy in the centre of the team. And they're going to go with one striker up front. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Mamadou Sacco starts, looking to continue his good form at the back. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. Southampton Thank more you. than useful at the moment, there. and they're hoping to get another victory here. They played very well last time out in that away victory against Manchester City. Yeah, cracking performance and 1-3-1, but probably won't have it all their own way here. I think they'll get a draw. Well, this should be a great game, and we're off and running. Jordi Classy. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Wendell. It's given away. Jordi Classy. Opportunity in a wider area. The ball really travels these days when the goalkeepers kick it. Okay. Guedes. Well, that will be a throw. Duncan, test of his control now. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Really connected well, and disappointed to see that fly off target. Yeah, somebody in the crowd more in danger from that shot. Now Martin Odegaard. Hot news from Anfield, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Burnley. Nine minutes played. Maybe a bit of a sighter, but it was a strong effort. I have seen him score from those kind of distances. We're hearing there's a penalty at Old Trafford. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Manchester United. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. Oh, a lovely strike. Straight down the middle. No chance for goalkeeper with power. 11 minutes played. 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Corner's taken. Cleared away by the defender. Has a go here. He's blocked the shot well. Clever ball. 
totally unmarked in the middle. Got time to set the sights here. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. And they get it away. Time to go to Anfield where Alan mcinally has got some news for us. It's a goal for Liverpool. 20 minutes played, 1-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Takes on the shot. Well, the goalkeeper given catching practice from long range, really. Yes, it was a goal for Liverpool, just to confirm that for you. The news from Alan McAnally, the score is 1-1. It's a very good interception. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Chance to put it in the box from here. Good defensive clearance there. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Cleared away, well away from goal. Alan McInally's watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford, a goal. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 27 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers, Alan. Quick change of possession here. Great ball. Just the keeper to beat. So close. He's had a go here, and a goal, and they've opened the scoring now. Well, he gets the credit, and the credit was being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think the easiest goal he will score this entire season. So it's Southampton with the lead. James Tompkins. Max Meyer. Well, they've got the ball back now in the middle of the field. Going for goal! He's made the save. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Wendell. Could make a chance with this tackle. Armstrong. Now they're pressing in at him. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Well, some nice words in the press. There's sometimes... A little bit of argy-bargy going on between the two managers for a game like this. But the manager here talking about his opposite number and how well he's done in the transfer market in recent years. Yeah, so maybe there's an onus on those players that have been signed to uh, go out there and prove the closing manager's words were correct. Interesting. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. It's a drive of some power, but off target. Yeah, and look, he didn't quite get set for that one. Jordi Classy. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Room now out of the wing. <laughs> the 
He's got support here. Sacco. Meyer. Wendell. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of habit time. Duncan. Proper tackle, that. <laughs> Neatly intercepted. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was well. The referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Well, it's been a big first half from a big team, really, and the opposition not in the same category. They've got so many avenues from which they can score, and uh, that's why they do boast this fine scoring record. Well, this should be And now the second period, the second half is underway. Guedes. Passing play out wide from Southampton. A low cross into the area. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Taking on the defenders. And the header doesn't really challenge him. He could have thrown his cap on that one. Poor header. Well, they're in a good position here. They've lost the ball in a bad area. Good save. No, it's offside. Jordi Classy. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. It's a very good interception. Change coming up for Crystal Palace. Break quickly when they get possession. Coach is very disappointed because he could see the potential as we could see from the commentary position. But possession lost now. Alan McAnally is at the Britannia Stadium today and he's got some news for us, Alan. It's a second goal for Stoke City. 56 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Duncan. Lost the ball. Now Martin Odegaard. Classy! Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early, though. Well, the manager not wasting any time here. He's going to make the change, and they are going to try and turn this around. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. James Tompkins. Pressed high here. Could really get at the opposition here. Conte. Max Meyer. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. He has cleared it well. Sheikou Kuyate. James Tompkins. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting.
It's become a rather defensive policy here with a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition... Not trying to catch this cross, he's punched it away. Good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. It's not really a way, poor clearance. And 20 minutes to go. Meyer. He's got his shot off now. Jordi Classy. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Attacking now. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Bit of space. Here's the chance. Good reach by the goalkeeper to tip it over the bar. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Swung in from the corner. Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Sacco. Maya, Sheku Kuyate saw the pass coming and got there first. First touch was poor. Palace about to make a change here. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Shots on here. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here. And that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they recognise that it has been a really good performance, but it's still a bit of work to do. Just a change now. He's bringing on a new player. To be replaced by number 10, Andrews Townsend. Kuyate. Jordi Classic. Slipping it through. Now Thomas Muller. And a goal! Well, they've extended their lead in this game. And the gap between these two sides is reflected now on the scoreline. Speed, control as well at that pace. It takes a bit of doing, but they got it absolutely right. Well, they enjoyed that, and they've uh, caught the opposition unaware who had committed too many men forward. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Southampton. Sheku Kuyate. Thomas Conte. Alan McInally's watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford. A goal. It's a second goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. It's been scored by Kevin Follan. A great counter attack down the right, culminating. Trying to steer it through. Needs to stay cool now. An excellent chance. More than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. In goes the corner, and they get it away. Odegaard. Had a go! Straightforward stop from an effort from a long, long way out. As indicated, there will be a minimum of three minutes. I mean, 
Referee's given them a free kick in a real position of some danger to the opposition. Tried his luck. Nearly, nearly to perfection. Yeah, the ball moving all over the place, but didn't quite come down in time. Thought for a moment that was going to dip in. It was. There's uh, not a lot of margin for error there, and it was a sweetly struck ball. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. That's it, final whistle. Well, you don't have to dominate a game to win it. This game is proof of that. You certainly don't. And the little scoreline in the top corner of the screen is what matters more than possession. It is another home win for the highest scoring team in the division, but by a narrow margin. Yeah, they really had to fight for this win. The uh, visitors weren't going to lie down.